organizers and participants at the first international conference on digital media and orthodox pastoral care, uh, Ever Zoe's uh, Living Water, Athens, uh, 7th to the 9th of May, 2015. My very dear friends, Christ has risen. The leaps and bounds made in science and technology in the field of electronic information and communication continually surprise us. The obvious direct result is an accelerated interconnection between people and peoples with three clear features, global range, speed, and friendly to the user. This is an unprecedented revolution in the manner by which we disseminate ideas, one which is incomparably more impressive and multifaceted than the invention of the printing press. The internet and everything associated with it, Facebook, Twitter, live streaming, YouTube, and so on, accelerate the dynamics of globalization. It resolves a variety of problems while also creating new ones. In the face of these unparalleled conditions, Christians initially stand in admiration, repeating the words of the psalm, how great are your works, Lord, in wisdom you have made them all. Because we know that all of our achievements are owed to the gifts and capabilities granted to us by a wiser creator, maker, and that human creativity is yet another expression of our capacities since we are made in the image of God. Admiration should be accompanied by responsibility. Uh, so that the digital media will be put to proper use for the dissemination of the redemptive message of the God of love and will not end up as tools used exclusively to bolster hatred, corruption, and confusion, thus supporting a globalization of injustice, lies, and conflict. Rather, they should be placed uh, to the service of the Gospels, contributing to the globalization of solidarity, peace, and justice. Herein lies uh, the great challenge uh, to the Orthodox uh, in the 21st century. We glorify the Trinitary God that almost all the autocephalous Orthodox churches have already shown considerable interest in this field. From our heart, we welcome and congratulate the organizers and participants of the present international conference and initiative of Pemtusia under the auspices of the ecumenical uh, Patriarch, uh, Patriarch uh, uh, His Old Holiness Bartholomew, and in cooperation with Oxnet and Bogoslav of Russia. It is imperative that the new opportunities um, thus presented be used particularly in two directions, the unity of orthodoxy and its apostolic witness to the whole world. As was stressed in the messages uh, from the last two uh, synaxes of uh, uh, the heads of the Orthodox churches in, in Constantinople, these uh, two remain the central issues uh, for modern orthodoxy. Apart uh, from news, uh, digital media are also required to make a substantial contribution to the field of pastoral care and theology to provide a deeper understanding of the notion of salvation in Christ and the experience of the gospel in the new conditions which are being shaped. The second major challenge is that they should be used appropriately to bear orthodox witness in the modern world. First, for the re-evangelization of our fellow human beings who are wallowing in ignorance and indifference. Secondly, for the dissemination of the orthodox message to new, in new environments. 
when the risen Christ gave his apostles his last commandment, go out and teach all the nations, they used the means of transport and communication available to them at that time in order to do this, walking, carriages, boats, letters, and so on. Today, we have other options. The command, go out, remains the same, however. Go from here and take with you the redemptive uh, message to other regions and cultures. We need an exit strategy from our um, closed, uh, circumscribed interests, uh, which are centered on ourselves, our local churches. Our horizon should be the whole world, the, uh, all the nations. Finally, we should uh, be cautious not to, to be uh, mesmerized uh, by the wrapping, the external appearance of the websites. The critical uh, thing is the content of the message. And in order to succeed in this, uh, uh, our efforts must entail serious study, humility, and prayer as an expression of love towards God and the recipients, as a mystical liturgy continually inspired by the divine liturgy. I uh, wish wholeheartedly that the proceedings of the conference as a whole will be most productive, that each paper will be a success, and that all the participants will continue to work together creatively in the future. May uh, God, of all grace, uh, himself perfect, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him be dominion unto the ages of ages. Amen. With heartfelt love in the risen Christ, Archbishop of Tirana, Jewish and all Albania, Anastasius. <laughs>